guys welcome to my channel channel with azim i would like to say welcome to my new subscribers and my returning subscribers and we're nine guys um thank you for choosing this channel so happy nurses day to all nurses out there and student nurses happy nurses day you guys um i'm gonna show you a few things that i got from work um we got this bag from path care which is a laboratory that we use for like bloods and all of that got this beautifully smelling empath laboratory um candle it says happy nurses day you may think your light is small but it makes a huge difference in the lives of, of others pathology is in our dna that's from empath it's also another company um that does our bloods then we've got Lancet Laboratories. They say key to diagnostic excellence. They gave us pens and chocolates, I think. Yes, Kit Kat. And then we had some pens from Pathcare, right? With this nice cooler bag. Thank you so much, uh, Pathcare. And then we have this bag with my hospital's name. Right? I didn't actually look at it, but it looks like a nice summer bag. Right? Is there something inside? Let me just check if there's something inside. Oh, there's something. There is. I don't know what's this. But it says in the back, thank you for taking the extra steps and wo and walking the extra mile. We are grateful. Oh, we're also grateful, child. What is this? Pedometer. Oh, it's got steps, centimeters, kgs, kilometers, and... I don't know what's the last one. Okay, we're going to figure out how this works. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, yeah, so happy Nurses Day. We also got like hot dogs. We got ice cream. We got candy floss. We had a carnival. So you had a ticket and then you had to go get your stuff at the different stops. We had slush. We had, um, we had biscuits. I know from my ward, the doctors bought us biscuits. And then we had, um, there's one thing that I'm forgetting. Popcorns. So it was a nice, um, there's a nice carnival. Okay, on to the serious things I've been having. I've been getting a lot of people who are post serve that have been asking me questions about job opportunities. And I've been having a lot of students that ask me about post studies, like after you study, what then? Okay, so I'm gonna start with post studies because that's more easier. So, sorry, once you finish your degree or you finish your diploma, you, you have to be put in or placed by a university in a specific healthcare center or facility and um, that's where you're going to be doing your com serve your community service that's where you're going to be doing your training for that year so i would really advise that you contact your university or your mentors or um mentors to give you more information on how to how to navigate the whole thing of having to uh, do your community service next year, right? And how is it? How is the process? Because I think it differs from university to university. Ne? So at my school, what they did is they they sent out things to the Department of Health. The Department of Health gave us all the posts in the different hospitals and facilities. You had to fill out um, an online form and you had to select your top five hospitals that you'd like to work at and then you'd get placed randomly sometimes they don't even place you according to the five choices that you made sometimes they'll give you something that's not even part of your choices sometimes they'll give you um something like a place they'll place you um at a place where you like at a one of your options they'll give you one of your options that you'd actually selected to work at and yeah and if you don't like the place that they've selected for you you can appeal and you have to give different documents to uh, give reason why you don't want to work in that specific place but that's how it goes um 
yeah, I was placed in Paul and I, I felt like it was a really good um, step to be far away from family because I was very dependent. So I learned to be independent and be in my own space and control my finances and all of that. Yeah, so I wrote some stuff down. So if you see me looking, I'm just trying to check uh, if I'm answering the question. So the first question was where and how do you, to get a job uh, post serve. So, okay, so uh, it's a different story if you're still in school because the university or your college needs to place you, right? Um, but after ComServe, it's like you're on your own. You have to figure out how to make a CV, how to make a motivational letter, where to get Z83 83 forms if you're applying in a public sector. There's just a lot of things and we don't get taught. Like you have to ask someone who who is working somewhere else to show you how because you don't get taught, you know? And if you can make your um, CV now, create your CV now and put in like the fact that you have work experience in your in your current um, workplace, then um, you use that. You use your date of comments and when you finished and why you like why you're not working there, obviously because your commerce period has come to an end that would be your reason and you apply at your very own facility that you're working at and you apply at various other facilities i know that you can go on um, the health department click on jobs or vacancies they will give you the nursing um, advert bulletin they'll give you different health um, bulletins that you can check out the posts that are out and you post your email you post your cvs everywhere you don't email you don't fax you post it right you post it you get envelopes loads and loads of envelopes and then you just write the address of the place that you take you taking it to you say attention mr hum hum the advert will tell you exactly who to like the place you're posting to and it will tell you attention whom whom like it will tell you all those things and then you post it it goes you go to the post office you post it and it goes to the to the places that you've uh, selected to apply at right and then um you you wait you wait for the reply you know it was quite hard for us this year to actually get like agencies because um we were not yet um registered online on sank as registered nurses right we were still com serves so it gave us a bit of problems when we wanted to work for agencies because you know the time period where you're not working you want to work for agency like work for agency so we were struggling to work for agencies and get jobs and get bookings because we were not registered as professional nurses we were still com serves and they couldn't take us so we would we called um we called south african nursing council and they told us no we need to wait and that's still okay you pay for your for your license and you need to wait for them to actually register you before you can work for an agency that was our problem so um so yeah so after you're registered which can take up to 60 days which is three two months um, then you can work for an agency if you don't have a job, okay? You don't have to be sitting at home and not working. You can register for different agencies. I know there's MHR. I know there's um, uh, there's different rec SD recruitments. Uh, I'm going to search other names of other agencies and I'm going to put them down here so that you guys can check them out. What I did, what I'm going to talk about also is the websites and the apps that you can use. I on my on my phone have the Indeed app. I have LinkedIn and I have Glassdoor, right? So I use all three apps to actually apply for work. And I don't want to lie, I've been successful on two of these three apps. I've been success, uh, successful on in LinkedIn and on Indeed, right? First job that I had, I was working at a hospital um, in Bumalanga, but I only worked for like. 11 days i think because i just felt like i wasn't ready for the move you don't have to move guys you can always get an agency if it's still if you're still not registered it's still your first two months of not being registered then you could always um take that time to actually fill out application form and go to the police station ask for z83s and fill them out print out all your cvs and deliver and deliver you know you can use that two months to actually do that and then what I did is I put I 
got linked in obviously i registered my account i put my picture there i put information that i'm a registered nurse or i'm a professional nurse that um that just finished her community service and i'm looking for work and i said hashtag open for work you know and hashtag professional nurse and all of that and i talked about what i'm qualified in as you can see community site and midwifery so um and i told them it was four year degree i've got this experience and they can request my cv and i can send it to them and I kept on having, I kept on having reject, reject, reject. Because remember on LinkedIn and on Glassdoor and on Indeed, what happens is the jobs come through and you can actually apply online. So if you have your CV on your phone, perfect, then just apply online. Right. Former, a former classmate of mine actually sent me a, a template, right? A template and it had everything that i needed to fill in for my cv so that my cv can be appealing and it cannot be that much of like of admin so that when i send it electronically people don't have to scroll through paragraphs and paragraphs so she made she showed me a way how to make it like shorter so i used that and i i kept my cv on my files on my phone so that if anyone wants my cv i can just send it to them so on linkedin i see a post and i'd send through my cv wherever wherever but like i kept it in cape town because the first time i applied i got a job in bumalanga and i was like uh no that's when i came back to cape town right so if you watched my previous video i did talk about my trip to in bumalanga then i started getting jobs here in cape town started getting interviews in johannesburg like i started getting a lot of places and please be mindful when you are getting a lot of posts and a lot of people calling you especially on linkedin it's normally private companies it's normally private hospitals so it's important for you to actually know what you're looking for which ward you'd like to work in and um and how far are you willing to relocate because i was so desperate i was so desperate i didn't even have <laughs> Oh,